Is there a bug in here? There it is. <laughs> Another 400 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> we watched a movie. That feeling in my skin. Ooh. I know what movie you're doing right there, but I can't. I don't know. It's remember. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's oh, like, kick ass. Yep. When he's dying, kick ass. That and. Wicker Man. Wicker Man. And Face Off. Face Off. And Unbearable Weight of a Massive Talent. Leaving Las Vegas. Leaving Las Vegas. Probably. Not Raising Arizona. Not that one. No. He, he plays a different kind of crazy in that. But also Renfield. Oh. Yes. Hello, everybody, and welcome again to Keystone Film Review. We just saw Nick Cage. Yeah. In Renfield with Nicholas Holt. Uh, directed and Aquafina and Aquafina. How could I forget Aquafina? Also Ben Schwartz and uh, Sh Shoray Agas uh, Agdashlu. Yeah, a it's a little toasty. Uh. Shoray Agdashlu. Apologize if I butchered that, but I did my best. And many others. Uh, directed by Chris McKay. Written by Robert Kirkman, yeah, the, the Walking Dead guy. Uh, he did the well, he did the original idea, and then Ryan Ridley wrote the screenplay. Uh, this, of course, tells the story of Robert Montague Renfield, mm -hmm. the familiar of Dracula, uh, at least in some adaptations. I don't know if it is uh, in all of them because I'm pretty sure he's not. I don't know. The same... I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, he's the familiar of Dracula. Nick Cage is Dracula. They're in New Orleans, And Renfield is having some guilt and also feeling like a victim of uh, a toxic relationship. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was probably up there for me with uh, highly anticipated movies. I remember the first time we watched the trailer. The whole thing was playing out. And they, they didn't they didn't show exactly who the Dracula was yet, and then it popped up, and we both turned and we're like, "Is that fucking Nick Cage? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god!" Yeah, I I feel like I knew it was Nick Cage, but forgot, and it was nice seeing the reveal. Yeah. At the same time, uh, but yeah, uh, you know, I kind of I love a good horror comedy. Uh, mm -hmm. It's probably one of my favorite genres, not horror, mm -hmm. but horror comedy. Mm -hmm. It's my fa one of my favorite genres. And uh, so I was absolutely stoked on this. My goddamn mirror uh, is is falling. Um, and uh, yeah, I would say that it probably didn't live up to the hype that I gave it myself. Yeah. But it was still a blast. It was a good, fun time. Had a lot of crazy, ridiculous violence uh, and a lot of funny moments, and also a, a solid message from the heart. Yeah. Yes. It was. It yeah. felt relieving in ways. Yes. To, to know that you can get out of a toxic relationship yourself. Mm hmm. As long as you believe. And I believed that this movie wasn't going to be absolutely a, 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 a absolute crazy fest of, of spectacularness or anything like that. Uh, so I went into it just knowing that Nick Cage was going to be crazy, and that's exactly what I came in for. Yeah. Um, he was, so there was that. In fact, I actually think he was kind of, I wouldn't say underutilized, but I was hoping for so much more craziness. Yeah. Um, but I was also expecting, um, Aquafina to be a little bit more, more comedic in this, and she took a more serious role. Mm -hmm. She had, like, one genuinely funny moment where, like, she's walking down a hallway, and she's yeah. like... She keeps looking over her shoulder. Yeah, I, I would agree. Uh, she was she was also underutilized for her comedic chops. Yeah. Um. She she's honestly one of the funniest uh, actors that, uh, there is right now, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Uh, and I I feel like um, they definitely could have used her comedically more. Uh, the comedy was more so done by Ben Schwartz, who plays the Mob. tertiary 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 the third. Villain. He's not even like the secondary villain. He's like the third villain, uh, sure. and uh, he he's like the the comedic relief. And then of course, just Nick Cage being Nick Cage, mm -hmm. uh, they got him 
for that reason because he is Nick Cage, and uh, he was. I agree. He. I feel like they could. There could have been more Dracula in it. I know it's a movie I about Renfield. Say that he is great in it, regardless. Yes, it's yes. just fun to see him do his ticks and everything that he does and just go crazy. It's really good to just see movies that are building around him instead of putting him in movies and then watching the, and then just being like. No, that's not what that character should have been like at all. Yeah. But I yeah. like that people are now making movies around him and just being letting him do what he does. Yeah, <laughs> like they're writing roles specifically for him, yep. directing stories specifically for him, and then all the pieces. Even if he's not the main character, like in this, he's not the main character Nicholas Holt is. Mm -hmm. uh, they're building it around him so that he will fit in the world and it won't be... I, I love Nick Cage and everything, but it won't be distracting. Yeah. Because it is just distracting Distracting sometimes. Uh, but yeah, I, I had a really fun time with this. Uh, Nicholas Holt, uh, I feel like we've mentioned this several times, uh, reminds us too much of someone that we know. Especially in this. And, yeah, in this. Uh, one of my friends, uh, John Costantino, friend of the, friend of the channel, yeah. uh, he saw it before us and said that it reminded him of a film that we made together mm -hmm. that he was also in, I was in, Glenn was in, mm -hmm. called The Mormons Are Coming. Yeah. This person was also in that movie. Uh, and goddamn, if the ticks and the, the talking is not exactly the same, and I don't the, know what is. And the hair. <laughs> and the hair. Yeah. Mainly the hair. And, uh, but, uh, he, so yeah, I was just kind of... I don't, know. I don't know if that w I would have connected it to the Mormons are coming, or just that person. I could see if it was like the fun of filming it. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, the Mormons are coming is a horror comedy, if you couldn't yeah. tell by the name. Uh, and uh, so it's kind of tonally the same. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously not as good, because it's a... Uh, I, we made it for like a thousand dollars dirt cheap dirt cheap pretty much i just bought everyone pizza every time we, we filmed mm -hmm. uh and that was the entire cost and uh so you know it was hard for me to see this and not see that mainly because john costantino said that mm -hmm. um but you know, it, it's it's my kind of humor it's overly violent yep. uh in a way that is just fun where every time somebody gets punched it's tomato paste exploding out of people yes yeah it's not <laughs> realistic at all uh so it's not it's not really i mean there's sometimes it's a gross out factor but for the most part it's just like mm -hmm. s just satisfying in a way not not you know get, like subsiding a bloodlust or anything because i don't have a bloodlust yeah but it's just fun to see people have fun making a movie and when you're watching it you're like this looks like it was a fun movie to make mm -hmm. i definitely think uh nicholas cage carried the movie for the most part yeah but one i didn't expect to carry because i didn't even know he was going to be in the movie was sonic himself ben schwartz ben schwartz was yeah. fucking great in this movie oh yeah he was hilarious <laughs> it, they, i like how they just kind of i feel like most of his stuff was probably either improv or they just let him run with it yeah and it was great because he just ad-libbed random shit it yeah. seemed and it just fit he's like oh fuck or just <laughs> <laughs> or duh fuck, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. He, he reacted in a way that I feel like most people would. Oh, yeah. Uh, whereas most people were, like, being appalled by the the violence. He was just like, like you said, the fuck. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, he, he was a really fun character, even though he was a, a third villain. Uh, and, you, you know, I loved the whole group therapy aspect of it mm -hmm. of course that's in the trailer it's heavily in the trailer i'm glad it wasn't as short as i thought it was going to be because in the trailer it seems like it's one scene but yeah. it's a continuing theme throughout and uh i i was that was a pleasant surprise because i thought it was just gonna be like a one scene and done but mm -hmm. they continued that theme and kept those characters around and it was really cool to kind of use that as a narrative device so uh yeah yeah yeah. Uh, the one thing I really, I guess, didn't like um, is that he kind of monologued at certain points a lot. It was yeah. like at least three or four times they just felt unnecessary where he's just like monologuing during a, or there was, there was one specific uh, little compilation scene where they were going from point A to B and it just felt unnecessary. A little montage of things. Yeah, he's like narrating. It just felt super unnecessary and they had like a little music track in the background I was like, yeah. uh, there's just some things that are slightly off about it but overall it was it was pretty fun mm -hmm. so 
I, I again I didn't expect absolute greatness, but you know, it was it was fun. So yeah. a nice little nice little comedic hor horrific break. Yes. From seeing Mario last week. Yeah. Uh, ratings. 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 I would give this uh, probably a three and a half. Uh, you know, it wasn't as good as I was hoping it would be, uh, but I still had a lot of fun watching it. It was a, a good, good time. A good time, boy. A good time. Um, and I just wish that there were some things totally, like you said, the narration mm -hmm. at times. Sometimes it was a, a nice addition, yeah. but other times it was distracting and kind of annoying like in the beginning um, it made sense in the beginning not, and then the end not in like the yeah not in like yeah. the middle uh, there's one point in the middle where it made sense mm -hmm. but it, you know there, there were parts where it's just like okay we don't need to hear this right now mm -hmm. uh and, but yeah you know it's a fun movie it's a uh, got a lot of great action and and horror sequences nicholas cage chews not only necks but mm -hmm. also scenery yeah and yeah, overall, it's just a solid comedy horror film. Yeah. Horror comedy, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, three and a half. Everything he just said, but I'm going to give it a three instead. A little yes. a little bit of a downgrade, but it was still fun. Still still a good score. It's better than a two and a half. Some yeah, it's better than a two. Better than a two as well. Better than a one and a half and a one and a half. Anything below, really. Anything, yeah, that's how ratings work. You have a, a number. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. Yeah, I just... Um, I'm mansplaining yeah. ratings to <laughs> people dare. right now. <laughs> I, I would say, uh, I put it down a little bit because underutilized Aquafina. Yeah. I feel like they could have done more with Nick Cage, but, you know, overall, regardless of that, it's still good, still fun, uh, especially if you want to go out and see a movie where Nick Cage is just bad shit. Hey, either go watch this or Unbearable Weight of a Massive Talent yeah. or any of his other films, period. Yeah. Con Air. Con Air. We didn't even say Con Air. We didn't say Con Air. Oh my god. That's because it's the most realistic movie ever. That, that's true. He, yes. And I think he's actually generally good in it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he tones it down. You know, it's a crazy movie. Other, and he's other like than the, the southern down accent. One. But yeah. yeah. Whatever. But yeah, thank you. Don't, don't, don't. But yes, if you saw Renfield, please tell us what you thought down in the comments down below. And uh, let us know what your favorite Dracula movie is mm. and why it's dead and loving it or whatever it is. The one with Leslie Nielsen. That's the one it should be. That's the one it should be because that is, that is the premiere. The quintessential. Dracula, dead and loving it. So I was kind of right. There's kinda. just the Dracula part. But yes, why is it that one or another one? Nosferatu? Nosferatu, Der Vampire? Pretty sure that's Nick. That I'm pretty sure that's Nick Cage's favorite movie, so it should probably be yours. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, everybody. Bye bye. Blah! <laughs>